Hello and welcome. So today I'm going to be talking about the Windows Registry. And uh, to explain what the Windows Registry does right off the bat, uh, let's just think about something simple that you want to do in Windows. Like for example, you want to change the volume. So you have uh, the master volume and it has a value. In this case, mine's set to currently to 30. And if I go ahead and change this and update it to 32, I go ahead and close the window and I reopen it, it's still set to 32. And the reason that Windows knows that it still sets to 32 is because of the registry. This value is actually saved inside of the registry, and then Windows can just look it up whenever it needs to. So essentially, the registry is a database that just contains all the different state of the uh, machine that you're currently on. So this is what the registry actually looks like in a visual view. Uh, if you want to be able to see what this uh, for yourself, you can actually just go ahead and hit the Windows icon or you can hit it on your keyboard and you can go ahead and just start typing in registry and it's called the registry editor. This just lets us visually see what the registry looks like. Uh, in the back end, this is very complicated. It's not quite this simple, which is why I'm very glad that there's an app that they include to let you see it visually because otherwise this gets very complicated. What you'll notice is that it is actually using folder icons. And inside each of these sort of folders, there are some values. And that's basically the easiest way to look at the uh, at the registry is that essentially it is just some folders with some files that have values. Uh, the only real difference between the registry and a regular folder is that these uh, folders are called keys and the uh, actual files are called values. So, but if we go ahead and we open up something like, for example, I've created a directory that looks exactly the same. We go ahead and open up H key current user like we have open here. And then we have something called environment. And then we have like a file called path.txt. Same thing is available here. H key current user environment path. And uh, every, the similarities continue from here as well. Inside each of the values, you'll notice that the value has a name, just like this does. It's, this is called path and it has a type. In this case, text document, reg expand sz, which basically corresponds to a text document. And then also the registry has some data associated with it. And if we go ahead and open the file, the file also has some data associated with it. And that's basically the registry. Uh, that really is all that it is. Uh, the value for the um, the value for the current sound is, for example, stored somewhere in the registry. The value for you know your current screen brightness is stored somewhere in the registry. The value for whether or not you've pressed caps lock is all stored in the registry. All of this information is basically all stored in the registry for the Windows PC to basically pull whenever it needs it and get all the information you need. And you can go ahead and modify this information whenever you would like. Keep in mind, I just want to give you a quick disclaimer, it is very easy to screw up your entire Windows installation if you go ahead and try and modify the registry directly. So be very careful when you're doing so, because again, you can get it to the point where it's unrecoverable. So thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, if you are somebody who is a programmer, by the way, I will be doing a video down the road talking about how to modify registry values using Python, as well as maybe a couple of other languages. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe, and uh, hopefully I will see you in the next one.